Saved by the Bell actor Dustin Diamond's former co-stars have been reacting to his death. The 44-year-old, who was best known for playing Screech in the 1990s sitcom, had been battling cancer. Former cast members have called him a comedic genius and says his death shows the fragility of life. One of the stars of It's a Sin says the drama has put HIV and AIDS back in the national conversation. Nathaniel J. Hall, who was diagnosed with HIV when he was 16 years old, plays the boyfriend of one of the main characters in the show. It focuses on a group of gay friends during the 80s. He says he was thrilled when he heard the series was being made, as it's not something we've seen on British television before. Katie Price says she's been overwhelmed with the amount of support she and her family have received since the documentary Harvey and Me aired. The show focused on her relationship with her son who has autism and was born with disabilities as he turned 18. The reality star says it's been a comfort to hear from other parents in a similar situation. Harry Styles fans are selling candles that smell like him for Valentine's Day a new trend. Fans keen on their own smell of stardom are making their home smell like Harry, 27, with the £11 candles. Manufacturers say are based on his cologne. Styles' preferred aftershave, Tom Ford's tobacco vanilla, was spotted in the background of a selfie in 2017. And finally, normal people's Paul Meskel turns 25 today. The star will be spending his birthday in Sydney on the new set for the film Carmen. The Emmy-nominated breakout star will play the male lead in Benjamin Millipede's directorial debut and will star alongside Melissa Barrera. The 25-year-old has also been nominated in the Best Actor in a limited series category for his role as Connell in Normal People. The Irish actor will go up against a host of famous faces in his category, including John Boyega, Hugh Grant, Chris Rock, Mark Ruffalo and Morgan Spector. <laughs>